All right, don't forget Sheets Convenience Store, Arnold Palmer Iced Tea, and the Golden Bear, Jack Nicholas, Arizona Iced Tea. And remember, for a great round of golf, come to the club at Shadow Lakes. And now let's talk about some people who had some really amazing rounds of golf. As we begin a look back at some of the great moments of the U.S. Open as we get ready for Shinnecock Hills this coming Thursday. Hale Irwin playing on a two-year exemption, the two-time former champion, 1974-79, trailed by four strokes, entering the final round. A back nine 31 was capped by a 45-foot birdie putt and thus his famous victory lap in which he high-fived the gallery. You remember that? I do. Yes, absolutely. Tell me about Hale Irwin. Well, you know, Hale Irwin was one of those guys that really upped his game, particularly for the U.S. Open. Yep. And I think that anybody that's an avid golf fan will tell you some of the most dramatic victories, uh, most emotional victories, came with Hale Irwin winning those Opens. All right, we move on now. Bobby Jones, three-stroke lead after 54 holes, vanished with uh, two final round triple bogeys and another bogey. I can't believe Bobby Jones actually had a bogey in his career, but he did. Bogey on par 4, 16. All of this forced a 36-hole 36 36-hole 36 Monday playoff at Wingfoot with Al Espinosa. He posted a 72-69 and 69 to Espinosa's 84-80. People have no idea that you have to be an athlete. You have to be in incredible shape to play this game. Imagine four rounds and then coming back with 36 holes on Monday. Bobby Jones is the game of golf. Oh, absolutely. He epitomizes everything that golf represents. Class, the way you conduct yourself. Uh, it's what separates golf from any other sport. All right, another great moment U.S. Open history. 1982, Pebble Beach, Tom Watson, Jack Nicholas tied. Watson hit his 17th hole tee shot just over the Pebble Beach par 3 green, leaving a difficult up and down recovery. Caddy Bruce Edwards, this is when you know you're as cool as the other side of the pillow. Uh, Caddy Bruce Edwards said, get it close. He said, I'm not going to get it close. I'm going to put it in. And that's exactly what he did. And then he birdied on the 18th for the win. Tommy Watson. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're talking about an era where the greatest, some of the greatest golfers of all time went head to head and brought out their best. And I think the thing that it, that impresses me most is those two gentlemen in particular, whether they won or lost, they were gracious in defeat as they were, uh, you know, emotional in victory. Coming up, more great moments. U.S. Open, Elwood Willard and I here at the Pro Shop, the club at Shadow Lakes with Alex Franco working the Samsung Galaxy 9 phone. Remember, the Firecracker Open, July 6th. Ask about it. Be a part of it. We'll be back. Stay with us. Good evening.